So six, yes, it happened again. Days after that horrible fire in Fairmount here in Philly, 19 people are dead in an apartment fire in New York City in the Bronx. It includes nine children. Let's get up there right now, and Steve Keeley's there. It is so hard to believe that two devastating fires within five days of each other, the worst fires in a couple of generations in this country, happening so close together. And again, uh, with so many kids as so many of the victims in both fires, you can see the NYPD and the Fire Department of New York also still here uh, going on 20 hours. This happened late in the morning yesterday. Can you imagine how much worse it would be if this happened in the middle of the night? Uh, but 11 a.m. And then your question is, how does it get so bad when most of the people in these 120 units, 19 stories, 50 year old building die when it's in the middle of the day? Because we heard different stories from different people like they always hear the fire alarms go off and they learn to ignore them. So they don't run outside thinking there's a really a fire. And then they started breathing in and seeing the thick black smoke either coming by their windows going up or coming through their hallways and coming into their units. Then they knew it was serious. And then the fire department gets here and they realize they've got people on every floor. They found victims in stairwells of every floor. That's how bad the smoke was. And it was the smoke uh, that did the killing here. And in fact, the people that were in the unit where this started, they already know the cause, which was hard to believe that they could find the cause that fast, but they knew the source of it. An electric space heater in one of the units and again like philadelphia's that had that second and third story duplex that's the coincidence here it started in a duplex on the second and third floor those people ran out but they left the door open and the fire commissioner says that was the key to having so many people die here because when the door was left open that got oxygen to the fire that fueled it and made it worse and spread fast and it also allowed the smoke to go from that unit through the whole building it started in a malfunctioning electric space heater. Uh, that was the cause of the fire. The fire consumed that apartment that is on two floors and part of the hallway. The door to that apartment, unfortunately, when the residents left, was left open. It did not close by itself. The smoke spread throughout the building, uh, thus the tremendous loss of life. I would love to, you know, think a lot about fire prevention and what we can do to build up infrastructure for fire prevention. You know, the same thing just happened in Philadelphia last week. Yeah. Um, and so what can we do before a disaster like this strikes to take care of our neighbors rather than responding right now? So we're looking at smashed windows from the outside, the curtains blowing in the wind and on the other side and a lot of the places they left the doors open and they say that is the key. If you remember anything from this awful fire, that is if you're in a room where there is a source of a fire, shut the door behind you. That'll keep air from getting to the fire, maybe help snuff it out, but it'll also help uh, the smoke from spread spreading throughout the rest of whatever building you're in. And as bad as this is, these broken windows represent so many broken lives. Karen, Mike, don't be surprised. Though everybody's telling us this morning if this death toll gets even higher. There are more than 30 people at last check in hospitals in critical condition, and many of them are kids. Oh, my God. Every floor, they found somebody on every floor of a 19-story building. It's a smoke. It just, it can yeah. be, you know, we see it time and again, it can be such a killer.